Hey kids, I'm Johnny, and who hey. are you? Hey, oh. you get back here! Get whoa, whoa! You're a crazy little one, Johnny. Johnny, can't believe it. Did you just call him Johnny? No, not you. You, Johnny. 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 You, Johnny. I found my new passion. I know what I want to do when I grow up. Uh, okay. I what wanna do you want to do? A dang dinosaur wrangler. I'm gonna wrangle up some dinosaurs. Okay. I mean, something a little bit bigger than this, but I'm gonna have a hat and everything, and they can't escape me. You know? It's okay. gonna be amazing. That's cool. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, one, this is one small problem. Yeah. Yeah. What's that, Johnny? Dinosaurs aren't around anymore. Oh, I didn't think this through. Yeah, maybe. Wait. Okay. Wait. Well, if not this, then. Uh, maybe I could be, I'll be a pilot. I can fly around the world, do amazing, cool things. Uh, Although I'm okay. very deathly cool. afraid of heights. So. Oh, yeah. Maybe okay. not. Yeah, maybe not that one. Well, Johnny, I could be a cook. Oh, okay. I'm what are you? At it. What are you? Yep. What are you cooking right now? Um, pepper. Pe yeah, just all pepper. It's all pepper. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. <laughs> do you know how to cook? Shoo! Anything else? Uh, honestly, no. They That's can all probably, learn. Yeah, uh, yeah, but it, it's too much. Um, maybe I could be a veterinarian. Okay, See, yeah, animals could, need yeah, help. Yeah, always animals. Yeah. Oh, well, well, I'm a little terrified of cats, and I'm a little bit allergic to dogs. So, but I think I can still make it work, oh, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah but if you're allergic to them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shoot! Well, I guess, yeah, this is probably going to work either. Hmm. Uh, let me see. Let me see what else I got. Um, I could be an artist with uh, my amazing crayons well, that are ginormous that have I, covered Johnny's face. I, I so, can't. Yeah, yeah this, this, is really this would big. be amazing. Um, Although I can't even see what you're doing. These are actually these aren't real crayons, so I might not be able to know how to draw with these. But I got big visions. And I yeah. Can make this possible. Okay. Yeah, Johnny. But I don't know. I don't know if artists. Status is my thing, okay. so we will. All right, well, those are, there, but we'll those keep are, thinking. Those are really cool options. Yeah. Do you know which one you you want to do? No clue, Johnny. No clue. Oh. Honestly, it's kind of been on my mind a lot, and I just don't know what to do. There's so many options. It's just like, what do I do? Right. Okay. Well, there, here, let me talk about a story in the Bible about this guy named Joseph that oh. I feel can help. Okay, well, yeah, let's talk about him. Okay, so this guy named Joseph, he was the youngest of like 12 brothers, a lot 12? of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they were all kind of expected to do like, take care of, they all had their roles, they all had their jobs, take care mm. of sheep, take care of the fields, take care of the land. That's what, that was what they did. Um, but the dad kind of played favorites a little bit. It's not the right thing to do. He played favorites a little bit and he made Joseph his favorite. Mm. So, yeah. Just like me, I'm the favorite. Oh. Um, Oh, sure. Yeah. Sure. My parents told me all that. And his time. brothers got jealous. Oh. So jealous to the point where they tricked him and hid him in a hole and then sold him into slavery. Well, that's not very nice. No, it's not very nice at all. Mm -mm. But when he went and got sold into slavery, he ended up getting sold to this guy named Potiphar. Okay. And Potiphar made him the servant in his house. And Joseph did so well because... He lived by whatever God told him to do and lived the right way how God told him to live. He did so well in that house because of that, that Potiphar made him in charge of his whole house. What? Well, that's yeah. a crazy, huh? Yeah, but one day Potiphar's wife tried to get Joseph to do some not so great things. And Joseph nice. said no, because he lived by what God said. Mm. But his wife, Potiphar's wife tricked Potiphar and Joseph got thrown into jail. <gasps> No. <sighs> but while in jail, Joseph had favor with the warden because God gave it to him because Joseph, again, followed and lived for God. Mm, okay. So he got favor with the warden and the warden put him in charge of all the other prisoners. Whoa. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy, right? And while in jail, he met these two people and he interpreted their dreams. They had dreams. They didn't know what they meant. They asked Joseph. And God told Joseph what the dreams meant, and Joseph told them. Oh. And that's interesting, right? And eventually, they told the king of Egypt, Pharaoh, Whoa. about what Joseph could do with dreams. <gasps> oh. And the king of Egypt, Pharaoh, was having dreams like the, 
these too. He didn't know what they meant and he was just having them all the time. And so Joseph was brought in and he told the Pharaoh what his dreams meant because God told Joseph what they meant. Wow, I need someone like Joseph to interpret my dreams. I've been right? having some crazy dreams too. Right, yeah, that would be amazing just have someone tell me what every single dream meant. Um, but God did all these things for Joseph because he followed the way he lived. And this eventually meant that Pharaoh made him second in charge just under him. So it was the king of Egypt and then Joseph after everything he went through, all because he chose to live for God. Wow, so Joseph went from being in a hole to getting sold and running the house and then being put back into jail or being put into jail and then running the jail and then interpreting dreams and then being second in command. Whoa, mm -hmm. Joseph had many jobs. Yeah. Does that mean I had to have a lot of these jobs? No. Does that mean I had to do all this? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. No, okay. no. The point is that he chose to live for God first and because of that, God led him along the way. God showed him what he should do and how he should do. Okay, that seems more refreshing because I thought I had to interpret dreams. I can't do that, Donnie. No, that, and th that's a, you don't have to. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Yeah. Well, so the big idea is to live for God. Yeah, we can worship by living for God. Okay, Johnny. So if I start living for God, then whatever God has for me, he'll lead me to it and I'll be living my dream of whatever that may be. Yeah, exactly. As long as you stay praying with God, because part of living for God is staying in relationship with Him, talking to Him, praying, having conversations, and He'll guide you. He'll tell you which doors to go through, which things to do, and which things not to do. Wow, Johnny, that's so amazing. Man, it seems like the possibilities are endless with God. <sighs> well, I better really connect with Him. Yeah, and you know a great way to connect with God? is by memorizing what the Bible says, like memory verses. That's totally right, Johnny. What's this month's memory verse? This month's memory verse is Psalms 139, 14. And it says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. It's so amazing. We praise God because he made us. And so when we live for him, we know that he knows how to best take care of us. Yes, Johnny. And just so that I could get on my path, I'm going to repeat it too. Okay. So it's in Psalms 139, 14. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Awesome. I love that verse mm -hmm. so much. And another great way that you can get connected with God is through prayer talking to him. That's right. It's actually one of the best ways is just spending some time talking to him. So let's take 30 seconds and let's thank him that if we choose to live for him, we know he'll always take care of us. That's right. So 30 pray. seconds starts now. Well, Johnny, yeah. I think during that 30 seconds of prayer, I really discovered something. Okay, awesome. God is still telling me to be a dinosaur yeah, wrangler. Right. I'm so gonna be cool. a dinosaur yeah. wrangler, guys. Wait. Wait. Let's go. Wait, what? No, Eric, yeah, wait. Yeah. They're, they're, they're gone. Okay. We'll see you next week, Somos Kids.